He makes his own rules. As long as I wear, you know, clean underwear and clean clothes, um, and I feel good about what I wear, um, then I'm fine. In every bunch, one stands out. I don't care, you know, how people look at me with the way I dress. This boss is one of a kind. Dinner's ready. <laughs> Hamburger Helper Stroganoff. Beefy, creamy, stroganoffy. Helpers, 40 dishes, all delicious. Ring, ring. Progresso? Yeah, I just finished a bowl of your light chicken pot pie soup, and it's so rich and creamy. Uh, is it really 100 calories? Let me put you on webcam. Lean roasted chicken and a creamy broth. Mm. I can still see you. Progresso, you gotta taste this soup. 10, 9, 8. The Ford President's Day sale just got better. Through February 28th, lease the all-new Fusion for just $159 a month. Just $159 a month for a well-equipped Fusion. Or get 0% for 60 months plus up to $1,500 cash back on select Ford cars, crossovers, and SUVs. 3, 2, 1, done. Hurry, the Ford President's Day sale ends February 28th. <laughs> okay. Hi. I met David in an elevator. It's a funny story, and uh, he will tell you that I picked him up. David met his wife, Lisa, in 1986 in Boston. Without introducing myself, I said to him, do you know how I can get a camel delivered to somebody in Israel? I, I saw she was pretty, but I thought she was nuts. Romance blossomed, and they married. Then two little girls arrived. My father is so much more than just a father. He's in Hebrew, we say Abba, which means dad. I could never imagine calling him dad because he's truly my Abba. The Jewish faith runs deep in David's heart and soul. He grew up in Netanya, Israel. He knew his parents were Holocaust survivors, but he had no idea what happened. He learned his father was previously married with two children. His first wife and children died in Auschwitz. His father remarried. When David's mother was pregnant, she was taken to Prague, where her unborn child died of blood poisoning, the result of being tortured by Nazi physician Joseph Mengele. Lari is probably one of the braver women I know. She never thought she'd have children. Up until his parents died, he didn't want to know about his family's past. The Holocaust weighed heavily on David and he struggled to make sense of it. David once asked his mom, why did you go? What made you get on those trains? And she said to him, you have no idea. Because of the way you grew up, having an arm, having the safety of a country where you know, people will fight, we had nothing. And they had guns, they had dogs, we were frightened. Nonetheless, Clary came back after that horrific experience. She lost all her family, sister, mom, um, with a heart of gold. Family is critical to David's survival and success. Having these girls and seeing them grow into the beautiful young women and, and their futures ahead of them, it is a gift beyond, you know, it's the biggest blessings we could ever ask for. Those around David think the world of him. He takes his students on travel seminars to Spain and Israel. They take away more than they know. I can honestly say that what I've learned from Professor Hartstein is to just do it. To not take no for an answer from anyone, to not second guess yourself. It's like nice to know that someone so successful is standing behind you being like, go, like you can do it, jump into the pool and don't just get your feet wet, actually jump. Friendship with David can be competitive but rewarding. And when David and I met each other, it was like two boxers in a ring. As we became friends after the fact, um, we discovered that there were a lot of mutual attributes about ourselves as entrepreneurs. He's extremely passionate, he's persistent, he cares about, I'll call the stakeholders, he cares about his customers, he cares about his friends, he cares about his students. It's just this unwavering commitment to the people around him. And if you're able to put that into a business model with the amount of persistence he has, doesn't surprise me.
He's a man who can take a joke. I made the mistake of telling him it was a black tie affair versus more of a cocktail attire, and he came the only one dressed in a full, <laughs> a full blown tux. Everybody noticed. And, you know, but, but David's David, you know, it stands tall and just dealt with it after he called me, you know, a few, uh, I'll say, adjectives. Jokes aside, it's friends, family, school, and work. These make David Hartstein tick. So and why he's so successful today. His outlook on life, despite a tragic past, is full of optimism. The road to success goes through failure. So we fail. It's okay as long as we get up and, and, and we continue with our journey.